okay so we start the next problem the best data structure to check whether an arithmetic expression has balanced parentheses is a q stack tree or list okay so arithmetic expression that means something like this and it has parentheses these are the parentheses so what do we mean by balanced parentheses balance means that whenever you have an opening parenthesis there must be a closing parenthesis those are balanced parentheses okay so if you have five left parentheses there should be five right parentheses okay that's the idea of balanced parentheses so out here you see that this is a left parenthesis and this is the corresponding right parenthesis okay so this is a left parenthesis this is the corresponding right parenthesis this is a left parenthesis and this is the corresponding right parenthesis and like this so and then we have to find the best data structure to know to, to find out whether we have a balanced parenthesis in the given arithmetic expression or not so okay so these are the options so the first two are q and stack okay and uh, you need to know uh, you, sh you must know that q is a much powerful data structure than stack okay whatever you can do with stack you can definitely do with q but there are things that you can do with q which stack will not be able to do okay so if you can do something with just stack okay you don't need a q okay because that's a simpler data structure and if it is able to do that why go for a more powerful data structure so that's the idea so if if we can do something with stack we will say okay that's the best data structure we, we don't need q all right so let's try to do this thing with the stack so what we can do with a stack is that if we see a left parenthesis we can push a symbol in the stack and if we see a right parenthesis we can pop that symbol out of the stack and when we are done okay so when we are done there should be a balance balance means the stack should be empty okay uh, suppose the stack is not empty that means there are more left parenthesis and less right parenthesis or if if there are more right parenthesis then what will happen you 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 will be asked to pop something from the stack but the stack is empty so that's a loss of balance so just just look through this example and it will become more clear so we'll go through this arithmetic expression from left to right and if we see a left parenthesis we will push and if we see a right parenthesis we will pop so i see a left parenthesis out here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to push this symbol okay and I go ahead I see another left parenthesis I push this symbol I go ahead I see this thing which is a right parenthesis so that means that I need to pop so I, I'll pop this thing I have pop this symbol out here so I have pop this one and so I had done up till here so then I go here okay, so I come here so this is again left so I push again okay then I come here so it is a right one so if I have a right one I have to pop so I pop this thing okay and then I have one more right so that means I have to pop again so in this case I'm done with my input okay I've reached the end of the input I've reached here which is the end of the input and the stack is empty so this is good so it means that the parentheses were balanced suppose suppose I got empty here right suppose I suppose I didn't have this last one okay suppose I didn't have this last one then what would happen I would reach the end I would reach the end like this but there would still be some symbol lying out here it wouldn't be empty okay so that's the thing so there were more left so suppose there were more right then what would happen suppose there were more right symbols like this in that case my stack would get empty much before I reach the end of the input in that case I'll be somewhere here and the stack would be empty and if I read this thing I don't have anything to pop so that's how you can do it with stack so it means you can do it with stack so you definitely don't need a queue so we will it's better to use a simpler data structure so but suppose you want to see how you will do, do it with the queue it's it's quite simple I, I'll show it to you just quickly how you can do it with the queue it's the same idea suppose this is a queue and in this case you will do the same thing okay you see a left you put something at the head of the queue okay and uh, or at the tail of the queue 
okay if you see left and if you see a right you remove from the head of the queue so I see a left I put this thing I see a left I put this thing okay and then I see a right so that means I have to remove from the head like this okay and that was here this right thing I was here and then I see again this left thing so I'm here so it means I put at the tail again and then I see this right thing okay and I see this this right thing so what I can do is I can again remove from the head okay and then I see again this right thing so I can again remove from the head okay and finally I, I've reached here and there is something left out here and my queue is empty okay I cannot remove anything from the head of the queue on seeing this thing which means these parentheses are not balanced so if you, you can actually see that there are three left parentheses but there are four right parentheses so they are not balanced and that's how you can do it with a queue also but the point is that if you can do it with a simpler data structure why go for higher so so far our choice is stack and then let's see what's the problem with tree and the list okay so tree is you definitely don't need tree because tree is a is used when you have some sort of hierarchy okay it's a hierarchical structure and you don't ha you don't need any hierarchy when you count these ex these parentheses because this what you all all you need is the left parenthesis should be equal to right parenthesis so tree is definitely not the choice and you, you can again do it with a list okay you can do it the same thing with a list also but the problem with list is that you have to do more operations with a list okay so what you can do is with a list is that if you see a left thing you can write give a value of plus one in the list okay and then you go ahead and if you see a right one you give a value of minus one so I see left I give plus one I go here then again it's a left parenthesis so I give plus one to the left list I go here I see a right one okay so I give a value of minus one to the list okay to this node of the list then I go ahead I'm here it's again left so I can do a value of plus one in the list okay and then I can go ahead and I have these rights okay so I give minus one minus one and minus one okay like this so one two three and all these things okay so now what you can do you can add all these values in a list okay and if it comes to be zero then it's balanced okay and then if it comes to be positive then it means there are more left okay and if it comes to be negative then it means there are more right so that's how you can do it with a list as well but then with list you have to do so many operations you have to first create these nodes and these assign these pointers and then give these values and then you have to add these things so it's a lot of operations so you definitely don't want to do it with a list when you can do it very simply with a stack and that's why the stack is the correct choice